Nick Thielen, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome to the stage. I'm kind of new to comedy though, but it's not because uh, I was working a lot or because I just finished university. Uh, it's actually uh, because I used to be in a wheelchair. So I guess you could say the uh, phrase stand-up comedy kind of threw me off a bit. <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking. Wheelchair comedy, it's kids on a roll. <laughs> I am glad to be here though because mostly, uh, you know, they told me I have like five minutes here, which means you guys get two minutes of practice material, <laughs> and then you can watch me get off stage for the other three. <laughs> I, uh, I had a job interview uh, earlier today, and I thought it was going to go pretty well because I passed the pre-screening process, right? Uh, like, can you open a jar of mayonnaise? Yep, I can do that. All right, so, you know, I got to the interview and uh, it went pretty well. And then at the end of the interview, she asked me, uh, so how are you with ladders? <laughs> now, I don't know if you guys can tell by looking at me, I'm not exactly good with ladders. Uh, I'm amazing. In fact, I'm the Central Alberta 2018 Snakes and Ladders Champion, all right? Let's be real, so I told her, all right, if this interview is over now, I'll see you later. <laughs> but I, uh, you know, I had some, uh, you know, I had better luck with other things, you know, like online dating. You guys ever done that? It's a lot of fun, uh, you know, but I see all those profiles out there that say things like, I like hot yoga and long walks on the beach. And let's just be honest with each other. My long walks are probably just you watching me go from the TV to the couch <laughs> to grab the remote and go back. And my hot yoga is probably just you watching me stretch my hamstring in front of the oven <laughs> while the pizza cuts at like 400 degrees. It's always my favorite part. Um, but <laughs> I, uh, you know. It's going pretty good though. My, I'm in a relationship right now, so luckily I don't have to do any more dating. But, uh, you know, the part that scares me about that is, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't like fighting, you know, in a relationship. I'm worried if we ever did fight, she might take me to court. And that sucks, because I'm terrible at tennis. <laughs> I've also been doing a lot of uh, skiing recently, enjoying some skiing, but uh, what I do is I get myself all motivated, get my stuff all psyched up, but I find it goes all downhill from there. <laughs> I've also been doing some uh, wheelchair basketball, play wheelchair basketball. So far I've shattered three backboards and a hip. <laughs> Take that LeBron, you can't beat those statistics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, too real. All right, too real. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, uh, you know, this job might not have worked out for me, but uh, I think maybe uh, like being a pest exterminator might work out good, you know, because I figure uh, my friends actually they call me uh, the Ghostbusters of cheese. Uh, I'll explain that. You know, I, my friend Steve called me up the other day. And he said, man, I have this problem. He said, I have this mouse that entered my house without Parmesan. And I'm really worried that it might Monterey Jack all my stuff. I said, man, just leave it free. Asiago to town. You know, me and that mouse will just have a little chat. You know, uh, you know my guess is that they, that mouse probably just lost his baby bell. It's feeling pretty blue cheese. Kind of empty like the holes in Swiss. And it can bear all this pressure right now. You know, I... Honestly, honestly, Steve, I expected you to handle this much cheddar, man. You know, I was like, all right. So I, t I, uh, I talked to the mouse and I got it out of the house. And, but I know I'm a nice guy. I didn't even ask for any money. 
So I just said, in exchange, you just have to listen to this joke. Fair warning though, it's cheesy. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I apologize if anybody here is lactose intolerant. Uh, if you didn't like that joke, uh, I'm just working on my craft. <laughs> Do we, do we have any uh, Olympic fans in the house tonight? Yeah, I'm, I'm a big Olympics fan. And uh, actually about uh, eight years ago, I was an Olympic torchbearer for the uh, Olympics in Vancouver. And uh, that was pretty fun. Uh, now, if you can't imagine it quite yet, just imagine giving a guy with crutches a uh, flaming butane torch. <laughs> And then tell him to start running 500 meters, right? That's not the scary part. Halfway through, you know, I lost my grip on the torch and it was dangling between my legs. <laughs> now, I'll spare you guys the details, uh, but I will ask you, are you guys familiar with that little Christmas song that talks about chestnuts roasting on an open fire? <laughs> Because I'm just saying, I could have used a little Jack Frost on my uh, genitals that day, is all I'm saying. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I actually uh, I went on a... Uh, I took my girlfriend out to a Vietnamese restaurant recently, and uh, the, wait the waitress there was nice enough to teach me how to say my order in uh, Vietnamese. Uh, so what I learned, we ordered, uh, you know, a sweet and sour chicken and a side dish of broccoli which I learned is uh, a number 13 and 36 with rockery. <laughs> All right, thank you guys very much. I'm Nick Teal and you guys have a long rest of the show. <laughs> Nick Thielen, ladies and gentlemen, right there is very own. <laughs> Nick Thielen. <laughs>